You think castle, you probably think medieval times or maybe Belvedere Castle in Central Park. But there are a lot of majestic castles in New York State. Just north of the city, Bannerman Castle was built in 1901 to store military surplus, but after a fire destroyed most of it, it was rendered off limits to the public. Bolt Castle is in the Great Lakes region and was once one of the largest private homes in America. Today, it's a tourist attraction. Attraction. Hundreds of years ago, a castle was a structure that had to be fortified from attack. But after arriving at Lindhurst Castle in Tarrytown, I'm learning times have changed. What makes a castle a castle? Well, it's really the way the building looks. If it has towers, if it has crenellation on top, really when these buildings were being built, the architects were looking at pictures of ancient buildings and copying them and taking a piece here and a piece there to make an American castle. Lindhurst Castle was built in 1838, designed by architect Alexander Jackson Davis, the same man who designed Federal Hall on Wall Street. He was the big deal. Right, right, right. Of um, time, and sure. this is considered his masterpiece, basically. The grand entryway is just a hint at what's inside. One of the first rooms you enter is this parlor where guests gathered before dinner. This was a room designed for conversation. Chairs like this with the cane bottom would have been easy to pick up and move around, so you could have maybe chosen a little more like by pulling up one of these chairs, yeah. who you want to speak with. So just imagine coming in for dinner, you're walking through this archway from down the long hall, and then you come into this wonderful room. This is a beautiful marble mantle, and what's interesting is when you look at the rest of the room, it's actually faux painted to look like the marble. So this piece is marble, this piece next to it that looks exactly the same is actually wood painted by an artist to look like that, and that's all through this room. On our way to the paintings gallery, we pass a bathroom and the Duchess's room, complete with a vintage Louis Vuitton trunk. Once inside the gallery, it's clear, owner Jay Gould loved collecting fine art. All the original framing has stayed in great condition, and so now we're at a point where many of these frames are almost as important as some of the paintings. One of the most interesting features about this room are these original Tiffany windows designed with a magnifying panel that allowed you to look out and clearly see what was going on outside. Almost 200 years after this Gothic revival home was built, Lindhurst Castle remains a crown jewel on the shores of the Hudson. Crystal Young, Fox 5 News.